Here we have a water trough that is uh, full of water and the, its ends are trapezoids and we want to find the work done in pumping the water out over the top and let's make the assumption that water weight 62 weight 62.5 pounds per cubic foot. And the uh, trapezoid has the following dimensions from here to here would be two and then this side up here would be um, three and then the height is two and so the distance from here to here would be 0 0.5 and uh, we'll place the wide axis right in the middle here and this is the x axis and the length of the trap is five feet. And this is the y axis, this is the x axis, and the distance from here to here is 2. And so this point right here would be the point 1, 0. And the distance from here to here is 3, and therefore this point right here would be the x is 1.5 and y is 2. Since the height of the trapezoid is 2. And so we uh, want to find the equation of this line so that we can relate the x and the y. And so this line right here, it passes through the point 1.5 and 2 and the point 1, 0. So the line passes through uh, the points 1, 0 and the point 1.5 and 2. So the slope of the line would be 2 minus 0 dividing by 1.5 minus 1. So 2 minus 0, 1.5 minus 1. And so the slope of this line is 4. And the equation of this line would be y, we're using this point right here, y minus 0 equal to the slope times x minus 1. So the, the 0 and the 1 that comes from here, 0 and 1. And so simplify, we get y equal to 4x minus 4. And then solving for x, so solve this equation right here for x. Add 4, add 4 to both sides, and then dividing by 4. Then we get x equal to 1 fourth times y plus 4. So this line right here, the equation is x equal to 1 fourth times y plus 4. And so to find the work done in uh, pumping the water out over the uh, top of the trough here, what we're going to do is we can slice this trough into many, many slices. And this is one slice of water. So this is one slice of water. And so first, let's find the work. Um, needed or required to lift this uh, slice of water over to the top of the trough. And um, so to get the weight of this uh, slice of water, first we need to find the volume of the slice and then multiply it by the 62.5 and then that will give us the weight of this slice of water. The volume of this slice of water would be the width times the length and then times the height or the thickness of the uh, slice. And so uh, this slice of water right here is y feet from the ground. And the corresponding x will be one fourth uh, y plus or times y plus four. And the uh, so the uh, when the, this slice is y feet from the ground. Then the distance from here will here from here from the y axis to here will be x. And therefore the width of this slice of water will be 2x. So from here to here will be x. And so the width of this slice of water will be 2x. The length of this slice of water will be 5 feet. And then the height or the thickness of this slice of water will be some y distance and we'll call it delta y. And so the volume again of this slice of water will be x 
x, so it would be 2x times the length, which is 5, the length of the slice, and then times the thickness of the slice, which is delta y. The relationship between x and y we have shown right here, x is equal to 1 fourth times y plus 4. So in the place of x, we have 1 fourth times y plus 4. And so the weight of this slice of water would be 62.5, since water weights 62.5 pounds per cubic foot. And so the weight of this slice of water would be 62.5 times the volume of the slice. So this is the volume of the slice. And so we have, uh, this is 2 times 1 fourth, so it's 1 half, and then if we do 62.5 times 5 times 1 half, it would be 156.55. And then times y plus 4, and then times the thickness of the slice. And so the work that is required to lift this slice of water to the top, is as follows. Work is defined as force times distance. The force for this slice of water would be just the weight of the slice of water. And the weight of the slice of water is this expression right here. And so we have this expression right here as the force the uh, slice, this slice right here is y feet from the ground and we need to lift it to the top of the trough. And so the distance from here to here is y, so the distance from here to here be 2 minus y. So from here to here is y, and, so, and then from here to here be 2 minus y. And so the distance would be 2 minus y. So we have 156.25 and then if we do um, y plus 4 times 2 minus y then we get negative y squared minus 2y plus 8 and then times delta y. And so this is the work that's needed to lift this slice of water to the top. But now we want to pump all of the water out to the, we want to bring all of the water to the top, out and then over the top and then out of the trough. And so the work will be the integral. So the work in pumping the water out over the top it will be the integral from 0 to 2, since y ranges from 0 to 2. And then it will be 156.25 times negative y squared minus 2y plus 8, and then dy. So this is the work that's needed in pumping the, to pump the water out over the top. And so we have 156.25, and then the untied derivative of negative y squared is negative y to the third dividing by 3. Untied derivative of 2y will be uh, y squared, and then untied derivative of 8 will be 8y. And then we need to evaluate from 0 to 2. And that will come out to be 1,458.33 foot-pounds. And so the work needed to pump all of the water out over the top of the trough 
will be 1,458.33 foot-pounds. <laughs>